Many of us have heard about the economic impact a spring training team has on our area. But the director of a youth baseball league says the Baltimore Orioles may actually cost Sarasota millions now that they are in charge of the only fields capable of hosting large baseball tournaments. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jim Spiewak is live at Twin Lakes Park with more. Well, Mia, Twin Lakes is one of only two facilities in the county capable of hosting these large youth baseball tournaments. It's only been here for about two months, but Sarasota is on the verge of losing this big moneymaker. The U.S. Specialty Sports Organization is on the brink of moving their youth baseball tournaments out of Sarasota County, taking millions of dollars in annual economic impact with them. Once I have to move out of here and go somewhere else, I'm not coming back. Twin Lakes Park or the Ed Smith Stadium practice fields are the only two facilities in the county suitable to hold the large travel tournaments. The Ed Smith Clubhouse will be under construction, and the Baltimore Orioles, who have exclusive control to lease out the fields at Twin Lakes when not in use, told Ron Filipkowski, the area director of the Travel League, they're already in use. They said that Riverview High School is using one of the fields at Twin Lakes. I think they are using it for a one game on one day. Uh, we could work around that. Jason Puckett, who sides with the Orioles' decision, is in charge of bringing as much sports-related economic impact to the area as possible. It really is a, a delicate balance of you know, trying to bring in events, but also keeping the partnership with the Orioles intact. Philip Kowski's district stretches from Manatee to Naples. And as a Sarasota resident, he wanted to keep the tournaments local. The Orioles control the only available fields to do tournaments, so I have to go through them, and I'm sort of, I guess you can say, at their mercy. Filipkowski intends to move the tournaments permanently to the Rays facility in Charlotte County. And Mia, just a few moments ago, an Orioles representative did return my request for comment and said that they told Filipkowski directly that a lawsuit has delayed construction over at the Ed Smith Stadium, so they're now resorting to being required to do maintenance and improvements to the Twin Lakes facilities here so that they have all of their resources covered in case the Ed Smith updates don't get done in time for spring training next year, and it's that reason why they were not able to offer Filipkowski and his league the facilities here at Twin Lakes. Yeah. And Jim, we talked about how much of an impact this will have on the community. How do you calculate some of those numbers? Well, Philip Kowski told me that anywhere between 900 and 1,000 people from all over the state come to the area during one of these tournaments. So if you think about it, a family of four could spend anywhere from 500 to $1,000 pretty much easily during the whole weekend. Those numbers can add up rather quickly. Mia? Absolutely. Thank you, Jim.